are you bringing up the fact that you're talking with the NDP because you're going to start courting their support again because you are saying no to the block and you're not going to be meeting this OAS demand? Not at all. Um, we really take as our starting point what is good for Canada and Canadians. Um, our starting point is talking to actual Canadians, um, talking to individual Canadians in our constituencies, talking to people who represent them. I've been having good conversations with union leaders and business leaders. I know my colleagues have as well. And with that as a starting point, um, we are then really open to looking for partners in this parliament so that we can get the work of Canada, the work for Canadians done. Kate. Good morning, Ministers. Uh, Kate McKenna from CBC News. Just to follow up on my colleague's question, will your government be presenting a counteroffer to the Bloc this week, uh, one that boosts benefits for seniors but at a lower cost? As I said, um, we have we have a real open door. Um, we have been having constructive and very concrete conversations with both the Bloc and the NDP. Um, I'd be ready to have conversations with the Conservatives if they'd like. Um, seriously, um, there are some things that we agree with them on too, and we did work together uh, during COVID with the Conservatives. Um, so, you know. Our view is every single person in Parliament is there because Canadians elected them. And every single person in Parliament is there because Canadians elected them to work for them every day in a challenging time for Canada and the world. Um, we have our own very clear view about what our values are and what we need to do for Canadians. And we are open to working constructively and creatively uh, with other members of Parliament to get that done. We recognize that we're in a minority in Parliament, and that means we need to be flexible and creative. But we also recognize that minority parliaments can get a lot done. We have gotten a lot done in a minority position. Um, and historically, uh, minority governments have gotten a lot done. I think, you know, no one, uh, I think everyone is proud of the work that Lester B. Pearson and his government got done in a minority. Is she cooked? And how much longer is the government prepared to see the House tied up with privileged motions? And what are your, uh, what options are you considering going forward? Look, um, I just think it is appalling and ridiculous what we're seeing in the House of Commons. Um, and I think uh, it is really disrespectful to Canadians and disrespectful to our democracy. Um, we need to step back for a minute and recognize what a big deal it is to have a democracy. Um, how lucky we are as a country to govern ourselves this way. And I am like, I'm grateful to the generations of Canadians who've built this incredibly complicated, incredibly wonderful machine of democratic government. I don't take that for granted for a single moment. Yes, and you do. And so it makes me frustrated and it makes me angry to see just the disrespect for constituents, the disrespect for parliament uh, that the conservatives are demonstrating. You're disrespecting all Canadians. That's not to say I agree with everything that Christy said, but that's not to say that work isn't continuing. I mean, we're continuing to roll out our dental care program. We're continuing to move forward on the disability benefit. We're here today announcing new measures on housing. So there are still ways to get things done. Um, but you go, go but to the back Commenting on, on your question and, and perhaps your previous question. I mean, this is not new. This is a pattern. We have a leader of the opposition who is trying to convince Canadians that Canada is broken while simultaneously trying to do things to break it. Um, uh, on finance committee where he was before he was leader um, and what has continued since he has become leader the conservatives have not studied a budget three years they haven't studied a fall economic statement in three years the the role of the opposition is not just to oppose it's supposed to be to propose solutions and to work for canadians um, that is a role that they have decided to vacate in their present form um, and as we saw um, at the committee level, and as we will see in the House, um, 
the majority of parliamentarians are here to get work done and to deliver for our constituents back home. So it delivers I mean, a pile it's easy of crap. to say that the conservatives will remove this dilatory tactic uh, if we do X, Y, or Z, but they're actually looking for dilatory tactics. They're not looking for solutions for Canadians, and that's just the world we're living in with this particular leader and his view on how Canada should be governed. <laughs>